First Lady of Lagos State, Dr. Ibijoke Thongwolu, has described education as a bridge for misery to hope. She was addressing some participants of the Lagos Secondary School's Model United Nations, where they simulated the proceedings of the UN General Assembly and its six committees. She urged the students never to take the opportunity for granted, but ensure they embrace the gains of education as provided by the state government. Good education has the power to change lives and positively transform society. As a matter of fact, education remains the only veritable tool of social economic development and the only legacy worth bequeathing to our children. This is why it is inspiring and reassuring that the model United Nations Learning Tool is not only emphasizing the importance of education, but also encompassing the commendable component of empowering our students to be solution providers to our challenges. And the presence of the very first lady herself, her implication into this last moon conference is an indication that the Lagos state government, with all the partners, are ready to orientate this youth, to give them the proper orientation that they need. In the face of cyber bullying, in the face of gender-based violence, if we properly orientate this youth, we will be looking at the much desired sustainable development. Stakeholders at the event hope that the solution preferred would solve the challenges bedeviling the education sector. We have increased their knowledge of public speaking. We have deepened their knowledge of uh, diplomacy and uh, cooperation. They can now engage better with their peers. They can now look for common ground when there are issues, even within their classroom, within their community, even at home. Education is a fundamental human right. It's something that we all are entitled to. None, uh, it shouldn't depend on our social status, uh, our class in the society, how rich we are or how poor we are. Everyone deserves education, especially quality education.